get out of here! You stay off this roof or I'll slit her throat! Okay, Martin. Okay, we'll get off the roof. But you can't escape from up here, son. I'll tell you what. You let her go, and I promise you, you won't get hurt. No! You listen to me! Because I got your friend! And if you don't, I'm gonna kill her! Okay, I'm listening. I want you to get a car for me. And I want you creeps to keep your hands off of me until I get in that car and get out of here, you understand? Because if you don't, then you're not getting your lady friend back in one piece. You know we can't do that, Martin. You got to or I'm gonna kill her. No deal, son. Yeah? Well, you ask this lady here what she thinks about that. About what her friends think about her. Huh? Huh? What do you think about that, lady, huh? No deal. Now, I want you to listen to me, son. Listen, we just want to help you. We don't want to have to hurt you or kill you. We just want to help you. You're sick and you need help. Help me? Help me? How? Okay. First, I want you to let her go, Martin. Real easy and unhurt. No! And then, Martin, I want you to drop that razor and walk over here to me. And I promise you, son, I promise you, I'll get you to a doctor or a hospital or some place. But I'll get you some place that's going to get you some help. I don't want any more help! But you need it, Martin. Now, you think about what I just said. Think, think about your grandmother, son. Think how she must feel knowing, knowing that you're up here doing what you're doing. I mean, you love your grandmother, don't you? Don't you? You get that thing out of here! Get it out of here! You get it out of here! Or I'm gonna jump off this roof and I'm taking her with me! Yeah. I guess. 